we are all capable of doing a lot in, in life. So don't undersell yourself. But a lot of us are very capable to do very big things. And so once you go towards a product manager role, you can start to see how, how big you can think. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, the founder, product manager, accelerator from drnancy.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button so that every time you'll be notified when we post a new video every Wednesday. And if you want to learn how exactly Thomas land his PM position in a square competitor company, and this is the right video for you to watch. He's going to give you lots of advice regarding how to get recruiter calls and how to get so many interviews without applying for jobs online, and also how he double his salary. So stay until the end. I'm very excited to welcome our guest, Thomas. Hey, Thomas, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yes. So my name is Thomas. I just landed my dream offer as a PM for a competitor of Square, a remote PM position that also doubled or quadrupled my total compensation from my previous job. And I was able to do this by quitting my job and actively working my PM journey using Nancy's program. For, I just did that for two months and I was able to get what I, what I was dreaming for. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, Thomas. Awesome. So let's talk more about your challenges when you get started. And especially, I bet it takes lots of like guts to quit your full-time job. So can you tell us more regarding your challenges when you get started and especially learning and landing your dream job offers that like double or quadruple your current salary? Yeah. So one of the biggest challenges was the company I was with, it was going to take really long. They were willing to get me to a PM position, which is what I wanted, but it was going to take really long, one to two years. I didn't want to wait that long because I know myself, and I think this applies to many people, when you're have inspiration for something, then you should act on it soon. Otherwise you'll just forget about it. I don't want to be working at the same company doing something I hate five years later. So yeah, uh, exactly. And, and I remember when you came in to PM accelerator, you were working for your prior employee, which was in the hotel industry for about four years, right? Yes. For four years. And I felt like I was working very hard, but I didn't see as many rewards uh, in my compensation, even though I tried asking for it. Um, so I knew I, I knew I needed to make a career change. And uh, I know this is the right path. I mean, I already see it in my, uh, from my new job and from not just from that, but other interviews, I, I've had many interviews. So it's some I had to decline because I just had too many or I wasn't interested in them. Once I got on the product manager accelerator program, then I was able to see that I had a lot more potential in my career. Perfect. Can you tell us more about your decision-making process in terms of quitting your full-time job? Um, to be very frank with you, um, I totally admired taking that very brave, courageous actions because myself didn't quit my full-time job. I was waiting all I was on H1B and couldn't really do that. Um, you're just like, hey, I'm done with this. I was underplayed, working for too long. I really want to become a PM. Let me just quit. So what goes through your mind when you decide to quit your full-time job and how you really hatch the risk? You know, not having a job in hand. And we also know that a recession might come. We don't know, right? So what, what's, what's going through your mind and to decide to quit your full-time job? And if you can do that again, would you still quit your full-time job to focus on PM? Yeah, easily. I mean, even if I get a, a PM job, I would still, <laughs> I would still quit because it's, uh, it's a good time to figure out what you want in life, like to reevaluate everything. And sometimes we spend a lot of time like in our work and we forget about everything else. So even our own career, like where we want to go, what well, was on my mind when I was quitting. So I took a coding boot camp last year because I thought I wanted to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. And I did that for six months and I graduated, completed, but I just never got a job after that because I just didn't care at that point. So I just know that if I have, if I like, and I saw students getting results, there's many students in your program that were getting results and um, that was motivating to me, to me that like, okay, this program works. I just need to put in the right work and I'll get the result. So, and I knew I was, when I work a job, like many people, you devote all your attention to there, like that, be, your job is your priority. So then you don't have, it's hard to make time for other things. Mm -hmm. So 
getting a PM job, that was my number one priority. I didn't want my, my current job to be my priority. And I knew I could always come back or I could get another job. So that was my, that was my thought process. Another thing. So I took the program for a month. Like I was just participating in class. I didn't set my update, my LinkedIn or anything. I wasn't actively applying. I was just participating in the class. And from that too, I was able to just evaluate over time by seeing students um, that were getting results in that time. And that's why I knew if I was just going to keep working and participating, that wasn't going to get me the results. I needed to make this my number one priority. Mm -hmm. I see. So tell us more regarding your timeline so people understand and also they can make their own decision. What does this yeah. look like? And, and is this maybe stressful, maybe not stressful? So just tell us the, the, the real secrets behind your timeline. What does it look like to quit your job? January, participated in a program. February, quit my job. March, mental break. And then April was when I really started because I we get a resume review from a, a re, an Amazon recruiter. Mm -hmm. And she encouraged me, you're... She told me, like, she looked at my resume, which I learned how to update from your program. She gave me the inspiration. She said, you're more than ready. You can apply. I was just waiting because I was trying to perfect my resume too much. So I started in April, basically, or end of March. I started, like, I flipped on my LinkedIn uh, to open for offers. And then I just see, <laughs> there's just tons of interview requests coming every day. And um, yeah, so then all I did was I just took, interview request as they came in and uh i still have even though it's off because i don't want them to message me i still get people messaging me <laughs> so um but yeah april was when i had probably 15 plus interviews um maybe like 20 plus interview requests um and i had one i had one offer that i didn't want and then uh, I got this other offer, which is like my dream. This is very in line with what I want in mm -hmm. my, like in my life, in my career path. So my, basically my, this is my dream job. Today, so, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, you mentioned earlier that you were underpaid. Can you tell us more how exactly you actually doubled, actually more than double is between double and like four times your salary. Can you give us some tips regarding how can you really make it happen to everybody? Yeah, I think just being in this, like going for a product manager role, uh, it's very high compensation compared to other roles. Um, how did I get that? It's just uh, transitioning to a product joining your program and then transitioning to uh, making the, for just product manager roles and shooting for the highest position possible, uh, like the highest senior, like I'm not direct, I'm not ready for director, but senior PM positions. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't apply for it directly, but that's what people, they saw I had six years of experience. So that's uh, usually senior yeah. PM level. So they would come to me for senior and yeah. I see. So basically you update your LinkedIn, follow our strategies, and, and all of a sudden people reach out to you saying, hey, you're ready for a senior position for our companies. You're like, ooh, me, senior? Yeah, exactly. I didn't even, I didn't see myself as a senior PM, um, but people were coming to me as like, oh, we have a senior PM job for you. <laughs> so um, you mentioned earlier that your challenges was that in your current role, um, it will take you at least one or two years really gradually transition into PM. Can you give us specific advice regarding how did you conquer those challenges? Yes. Um, quit your job. If you can't, then make this your number one priority. So maybe every morning you'll work on, part, like use all your energy towards the PMA program and then work on your other stuff. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned LinkedIn playing a really important role for you to land so many interviews, but lots of our audience have such a hard time to landing interviews. So do you have any specific tips for people to get more like interview opportunities without applying for jobs online? Yep. Um, so I have uh, three, three suggestions. So first is to update all your prior responsibilities and accomplishments to uh, include the PM keywords and target it towards PM because that's what you're going for. And number two, I would, uh, once you update your, your titles, your responsibilities and all that, then you want to flip the 
in LinkedIn, there's an option to change what you're that you're open for opportunities. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, you can put in what titles that you're open for. So the product manager, uh, associate product manager, senior product manager. All right. Thank you so much, Thomas, for sharing with us. And I believe you give so much like encouragement, inspiration for everybody who is thinking about prioritizing their time, maybe quitting their job, or maybe you'll keep your job and really put lots of time into pursuing the product management career. And actually, one of the uh, things you said, uh, which really like uh, enlightened me is that if you dedicate it to try to pursue something, you got to take actions now. Why wait until sometime in the future? Because eventually will last for like 10 years and 20 years is still where you were, uh, never moving towards your PM career. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Thomas. Uh, any one, uh, last minute tips for everybody? Um, yeah, so I would just say we are all capable of doing a lot in in life. So don't undersell yourself. Like there's many, I feel that when we work a job and we get a lot of us are, can be underpaid and then you, you feel undervalued. Uh, but a lot of us are very capable to do very big things. And so once you go towards a product manager role, you can start to see how, how big you can think and, and actually uh, work towards that. If you're also interested in PM Accelerator and let us help you to get the same kind of result, um, here is what you need to do. Step number one, go to this website and register for our free masterclass to learn how can you land your dream product manager job offer within six days. And afterwards, we're gonna tell you more about product manager Accelerator and then you can submit your application or reserve your early bird ticket. Um, then we're gonna see you if you're qualified for this program. Brown, that's amazing. I, I love everything you just said. That's amazing. Awesome. All right. <laughs> so thank you so much, Thomas. I love actually your final statement and i believe uh, this will push lots of people to take actions today and and really put priorities in terms of career growth thank you very much for sharing with us and best of luck joining your new company at the like square competitor company i'm very excited for you thank you thank you for having me and uh i i hope this helps somebody out there <laughs> yeah, it will be, will be. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. If anybody you guys uh, love the content we provide today and all the tips we share with you guys, please make sure to like this video and share it with anybody who is thinking about quitting their job or making dedication to move towards a product management career. And we believe that so much you guys can learn from each other in this community together. So this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Bye.